Here's a challenge. Describe what compression does without using the word compress. Or squash. Can't do it? Then this is probably the video for you. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Fabio here from Noise. And today we're gonna to tackle an issue that a lot of us have trouble with. Full disclosure, this isn't a super detailed video on compression. It's a two part series where I'm gonna show you how to use a compressor effectively and help you start training your ears. Before we crack on, hit that like and subscribe button to show some love and I'll bring you these videos every week. I don't know why this is a thing, but honestly, people just think you have to compress everything. Yeah, nice snare, bro. You compress that uh, 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 no, should I? Yeah, boy. You don't have to compress everything, but what you do need to do is make a decision. Analyze the sound and decide, does this even need to be compressed in the first place? Still describing compression using the word compress? Here's how to simplify it. A compressor is an automatic volume fader. Here is an audio signal. This is the compressor threshold. When the signal goes past the threshold, the compressor automatically pulls down the volume. Capiche? For today's quick tip, we're only going to use threshold, attack, release, and makeup gain. We're gonna keep it really simple. Here's a basic audio waveform of a generic kick drum. The faster the attack, the faster the compressor will react to the signal. Therefore, the faster it will deal with pulling the volume down. If the attack is slower, it will essentially bypass the first part of the signal and then pull the volume down later. Don't worry about release for now because I've got a trick I'm gonna show you later on how I like to do it. Now that we know how threshold and attack work, let's have a look at the first approach. Okay, let's take this dope vocal from grime artist Keats. I'll leave a link in the description below to the music video to this song, which you gotta check out. It's a banger. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. This vocal is super energetic and dynamic and jumps up and down in volume a lot. I want to control the dynamic of this vocal, which means I'm going to want to use a fast attack. Now to keep things simple, I want you to use a ratio of 4.1 to 1. This is a great medium ratio, which is effective in most settings. Put your release at 100 milliseconds to have a nice medium setting and let's change the attack to three. Three is really fast and should be fast enough to help control the dynamic of this vocal. Let's overdo the compression by pulling down the threshold too much and listening to the effect that it has. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. I always like to be extra when compressing so my ears can catch on to what's happening and then I can pull it back later. Initially, to set the release, I dial it up to the longest possible setting. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. The signal should sound quite flat and dull, but once I've got it there, I dial it back until things start to sound natural again. I like to move this up and down a bit until I'm happy with the result. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. I don't want the release to be too fast, so it's slapping back and making the compression really bouncy, and I don't want it to be too slow, making the vocal sound dull. The release setting will depend on the sound you're affecting. So it may be fast for vocals, but it may be slow for something like piano or strings. It's important to experiment. Once you're happy with your attack and release settings, come back to your threshold and make the compression a bit more subtle. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. The idea is that the compressor kicks in when the signal is loudest. You don't need to compress everything all the time. It's just there trying to control some of the peaks. Once your threshold is set and you're happy with your compression settings, as well as it sounding natural, you'll want to go over to the makeup gain and adjust the volume so it sounds exactly the same when it's on and off. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. 
Listen to how the vocal sounds a lot more even. We've controlled those louder peaks, but we've brought up the makeup gain. So what we're doing is we're making the louder parts quieter and the quieter parts ever so slightly louder. Essentially, the whole vocal sounds a lot more cohesive and has more sustain. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. Yeah, I've been going in on my ones because everybody's on, everybody got guns and everybody's up, everybody got funds all over the gram, everybody got some. If you're not using Logic, it doesn't matter. You can apply these settings to any compressor in any DAW. And voila, that concludes part one of Compression Debunked. In part two, we're gonna have a look at how to add character with compressors, the opposite of what we're doing right here. Trying to control with compression should start you off nicely and help you train your ears a little bit to understand what's happening to the change in dynamics. Remember, compression is just an automatic volume fader. Don't overcomplicate it. Thanks again so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you very soon. Peace.